Hello everyone, and welcome to a new series called Top Fives. On Top Fives, we show you top fives of anything you can think of, all the way from top five facts, all the way to top five pictures, to top five, to top five as the top fives of anything you can think of. Now for this one, it's about facts. Not just any facts, but, but the special kind of facts. Now, the first top five of this new series is, drum roll please, top five facts about Super Mario. Now, in case you guys didn't know, I am your host, the Wii YouTuber. Now, if you guys can tell, I am kind of speaking in my news reporting voice. Which I am trying to get this done as very quickly as possible, but I don't want to mess anything up, so I'm also trying to keep it as smooth. Now, without further ado, the Wii YouTuber will teleport to you guys in three, two, one. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, hey, what is up, guys? The Wii YouTuber is back. I am so glad you guys are here. So today in this video, I'm going to do top five facts about Super Mario, which my news reporter, or the host of this show, just said. Now... These top five, this top five will contain some that are from video games and others that are not even from video games. Just out of genre, if you know what I mean. From non-canon games. Now, let's not waste any time and go straight into the facts. Coming in at number five, we have that there's over 75 power-ups in the Mario universe. Excuse me right there. Now, as I said, there are over 75 Mario power-ups in the Mario franchise. These include, like, the Mega Mushroom, Superstar, 1-Up Mushroom, like, and, like, 73 more, like, over 73 more. There's, like, a bunch of Mario power-ups. If you want, if you want to see all the power-ups, click the annotation that I'm holding in my hand, or go to the links in the description below. But till then, get out of here, you stupid annotation. No offense. Anyways. Now, coming at, at number four is that Mario's original name wasn't going... Okay, let me rephrase. Mario wasn't originally named Mario first. He was first named Jumpman for the Donkey Kong series. Back in 1981... Uh, Nintendo was trying to bring into the market of with video games as of when they released Donkey Kong in 1981 for the arcade. That game introduced a whole new feature and that is into jumping. Mario doesn't only jump in Donkey Kong, but he also but he also uses a wrecking hammer to wreck the barrels that Donkey Kong throws at him. By the way, this is a spoiler if you haven't played that game or haven't heard about that game. I probably should have just said it earlier. But anyways, Mario's original name was Jumpman. But then, fast forward two years later, the very first game that changed it to Mario was Mario Bros. in 1983, and it also introduced his brother, Luigi. Now, I know what you guys are thinking right now. How did they come up with the idea to change Jumpman into Mario? That answer is something that was very clear and simple for me. There, back in 1981, there was an official meeting going on for Mario Sigali. He had a complaint in the 1981 video game about, about the Donkey Kong games. And then, when he left, everyone decided to name J 
Jumpman after Mr. Sigali. And then once they released and, and then once they released Mario Bros. in 1983, that's when the Mario Bros. series began all together. And that is how Mario got to be who we love today. But he was also a different, whole different character back at the time. Now, let's head into number three. Number three is shown was shown in Super Mario World that Mario can lift 80,000 pound castles and kick them away with ease. Now here's the thing. I did some research on the castle and there are approximately 1,765 blocks in the castle. And each castle is 3.5 feet wide and 3.5 feet tall with each of them being 3.5 feet wide and 3.5 feet tall, tall, sorry. This castle weighs around 165,000 tons or 730 million pounds. Now, 80,000 pounds is way smaller than 730 million. And because Luigi lived at the same castle and the castle shown to be magical, the actual weight of the castle isn't really important. However, I am going to assume that at the very least, Mario could lift over 80,000 pounds, which is still crazy strong. Now, enough about his strongness, let's go to number two. Now, I always ask this question. Even though Shigeru Miyamoto created Mario as if an Italian, how come that even though he's Italian, he's he was a mascot of a company that works in Japan? That answer is clear and simple if you know Shigeru Miyamoto. Shigeru Miyamoto was European and, and Italian at the time, and then he created Mario as mostly of an Italian when he came around between like Super Mario 64 and Super Mario World 2, Super Mario Advance 2. So, the reason why he ain't Japanese, he wasn't created for Japanese, because Nintendo was originally made in Japan until they shipped the games over to North America. And they wanted to bring in a little English so kids from North America can, can see Mario how they see it, but a lot easier because Japan can do games a lot better than we can. And that's how Mario, and that's how Mario was known to be a little bit of English at the same time because around the time they were shifting Nintendo games to North America, and then when they shipped Super Mario Bros. there at the time, it was all starting to make complete sense for it. And that is number two. And now, the number one Mario fact. This is something that is really, really amazing. Now, the number one fact about Mario is that he saved the video game industry. I don't know if you guys know this, but back in 1983, because of the bad exaggerations on the Atari platformer, there was a video game crash. And when the video game crash of 1983 happened, stores wouldn't stop video games anymore. And, the, and again, that was around the time when Nintendo was shifting games to North America. But however, they packaged Super Mario Bros and Rob and the Nintendo Entertainment System and marketed it as a toy. This toy provided to sell video games again and that's the main reason why we have Call of Duty, Halo, and Star Wars today. So what I'm trying to say is is that not only that Mario is is Nintendo's main mascot, but he's also known to be one of the most memorable video game characters of all time just because he's the one who made us have Call of Duty, Halo, and everything you guys play today. 
So, if you like video games so much, you can go thank Miyamoto and just know that Mario will always be the video game character never forgotten because, like I said, Mario saved the video game industry. So yeah, that is my top five facts about Super Mario. Or Mario, or I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that first. Now, this is the part where you guys come into play. I want you guys to comment down below what top fives you want me to do on this channel. Now, right now, I know what you guys are thinking. I remember the video I made yesterday. I know I was supposed to create the reaction video, but the thing is, I had somebody that was so busy with the laptop that there was no point in recording it. And this is uploaded, like, on the 30th, if not on October 1st, maybe it's uploaded around midnight. If you guys are, like, staying up and watching this, that's cool. But again, about the reaction video that will probably be this weekend, like the gaming video. The gaming video will probably come out on Saturday or Sunday. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on this video. And if you dislike this video, let me know why in the comment section down below. Maybe I might be able to address your theory. And again, let me know down in the comments below what series or what top fives would you want to see on this channel. And also, again, if you want to learn about all these images and no, all these facts, just click right here in my hand or the link's description. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching.